I'm really excited, folks. I have a very special car, 1970 Torino Cobra, Super Cobra Jet. I'm going to give us all an education on what a Super Cobra Jet actually is. VIN number matching, concourse rotisserie restored, obviously a shaker hood, four speed, 391 gears, original invoice, Marty report, restoration receipts. I got a lot to tell you about this car, but really it's worth it. When he restored the car, he spent $550 on NOS radiator hoses. They have a certain texture to them. He spent like $600 on a pulley, so it's the right one. He spent $395 on an NOS speedometer cable that no one's ever going to see. So I'm painting the picture. He wanted this car done right. <clears throat> I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Go to volocars.com as you can read the full story. Find a price tag on this one and 200 other classic cars for sale. Each one has a monthly payment as well. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. All the years doing this, I never understood exactly what the Super Cobra Jet meant. I knew it was a stronger motor. Bottom line, you ordered the drag pack. That's all the option was called. It really wasn't uh, advertised by Ford. Matter of fact, I read in an article that it was on page 18 of their brochure, just mixed in with other mediocre options. It just said drag pack, $155. What you didn't know is when you got the drag pack, well, it said it included a 391 gear. You had to have a four speed to get the drag pack. So when you ordered that, Ford knew, ah, this guy's ordering a 391 gear and a four speed. We know what he's doing with this car. It's either going to be at the drag strip or it's going to be racing stoplight to stoplight. So they better provide an engine that can handle it. So without you even knowing, Ford provided the Super Cobra Jet engine that would handle the higher RPMs. It was literally a stronger built block, had four bolt mains, forged pistons, heavy duty rods, solid lifters, because they rev higher than hydraulic. Uh, it has a 780, 750 or 780 Holley car where the Cobra Jet had a 650, I think it was. Um, there are some significant differences in the motor. The Cobra Jet was rated at 370. The Super Cobra Jet was rated at 375. They actually said it's closer to like 425, the horsepower. I don't know if I called this a 428. This is a 429 that I'm talking about. So if I said 428, that's my mistake. Uh, it also came with an external oil cooler. Again, high RPMs. They wanted to keep the engine together. So the drag pack, you thought you're just getting a posi rear end, it got you a whole engine package for not a lot of money. Because it wasn't really advertised, they didn't sell that many. They only made, uh, I think, 1,475 of these is all they made altogether. This is in the league of a Hemi car, folks. Um, <clears throat> so let's check out the body. The body is excellent. The hood has a little bow to it right here. Uh, but it lines up square. This is absolutely straight. It has a nice fastback body style. No vinyl top, of course. All nice, clean, smooth. Absolutely straight, square, flush, no issues. All incredible body. Absolutely straight, clean. Lines up beautifully around the doors. Real nice, all the way to the bottoms, nice and clean. This is the original color. They made 101 of these in this color combination. Beautiful. I love blue. The metal flake is all laid out evenly. It's polished like glass. It has the matte black finish. You know, that was for the race cars, so you didn't get a glare. So they carried that over into the muscle cars. Uh, the Ram Air Shaker hood, the air actually goes in. Racing pins to keep the hood down. Up here, the bumper looks like show chrome. The grill, everything up here is beautiful. Antenna looks real nice. The glass is crystal clear. The stainless is polished like glass. Matter of fact, the windshield's probably been replaced, and it looks like it has the correct markings in the middle there. Uh, it has the Cobra, the little Cobra snake with the wheels doing a burnout, 429 emblem. 
sport mirrors. This car was ordered with the 15 inch Magnum wheels. A lot of people add those to their cars. This one's right on the invoice. It came that way. And it has the Goodyear reproduction uh, G60 tires on there. Uh, the rear window, uh, real nice and clear. Trim is polished. Back bumper, show quality, bezels, trim, everything's beautiful. So the outside of the car is excellent. Let's open it up, show you the inside. All right, let's look inside the trunk compartment. Yeah, under the trunk lids, painted beautiful like the car. Same with the jam and the weather strip. Actually, the entire inside of the trunk compartment's all painted blue. You can see the new gas tank under the rubber mat. And everything I see, the latches, the sockets, everything is like new. Uh, it has a matching GT tire on an original Magnum wheel and the jack assembly. We're going to get that all bolted in place. I asked them to do that for me. They forgot, uh, but that will all I'll be mounted and the mat straightened out. Visit volocars.com. Get all the information, how to, how to contact us, how to finance. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified. Jams are painted slick. Weather strips replaced. The interior has been redone. The door panels, the armrests, they look like new. Just a clean, simple dash. The knobs, the vents, the plastic, all in real good shape. Not broken or beat up at all. Has an AM FM radio. Dash pads in real nice shape. Just a few hairline little age cracks up there. Nice, nice glove box area, kick panels, his Ford mats, the carpet fits real nicely. Hearst four speed shifter. Uh, one of the invoices I seen was like a thousand bucks. They have the seat belts restored, all blue seat belts, all redone. Seats are nicely cushioned and upholstered. The back seats all real nice and seat belts all redone. I like the blue. All looks really good. Side panels, armrests, window cranks. The back shelf and all the trim around the back window and the shelf, that's all excellent. Headliner's excellent. All the plastic trim and the shoulder belts and the dome white. All real nice. Nice matching visors, new mirror. Steering wheels. Uh, actually, a steering wheel was sent out. It was 400 and something dollars to be restored. I'll pull up my list of all the things he had rebuilt. He could have bought stuff cheaper than it was to restore them, but he wanted it to be authentic. <clears throat> so that is the 429 Super Cobra Jet VIN number matching. A lot of people tell you about their Fords that they match and they're really hard to, to find the numbers, but we have a picture on our website. Uh, well over 400 horsepower, uh, completely rebuilt motor. These aluminum valve covers are part of the package and it has some different oil drippers inside because of the solid lifters and that, I guess it's a little different. Um, the complete Ram Air system, the shaker, all of that looks to be uh, in place, functional. All neatly run wires and hoses. Yeah, auto light hoses. You see, I think those are fuel or brake lines. Look at the firewall, nice and smooth. Correct finishes and everything. He paid for this bracket right here. Uh, no, I don't have five hundred and seven dollars for this NOS bracket. Five hundred and fifty dollars. They call us alligator texture. See how it's bumpy for that hose. It has the complete smog equipment. He paid four hundred and seventy nine dollars for this pulley on this smog pump. He paid a thousand and seventy five dollars for this radiator shroud. 
with a note next to it that they're extremely hard to come by the correct one. Radiator says Fomoco right on it. All nice, clean, proper. The distributor has power steering. Oh, here's the oil cooler. This is real important. This is on the Super Cobra jet. Cools the engine oil because it's running higher RPMs. And I think they had to relocate the horns or something like that, too, for the hoses. Here's the washer bottle. And then it has power brakes. He sent the power brake booster out to be rebuilt. He could have just um, you know, bought one cheaper. He paid like $193 for this cap with the clip. NOS, just this here. Uh, the wiper motor, he had concourse restored. There was a bill for that, and it was crazy money. So anyway, if you're getting the idea, it's all um, you know, concourse restoration. That was a few years ago, so it has a different battery in it now. Uh, but this is really in nice shape in here and correct. <clears throat> Michael's going to show you what she's got. It's got plenty. fun today 1974 Torino the 429 this is a super Cobra jet uh, all numbers matching car all documented full concourse restoration here and of course the 429 under the hood got the four-speed manual trans here with the Hearst uh, t-handle that's feeling good handling these bumps with ease Steering's nice. It's got the full drag pack on here if you're familiar with that. Just what a beautiful car. Absolutely love this one. All right, yeah, let's see what she's got. Just like that, up to speed, no problem. If you're familiar with these cars, you know the type of power that they produce. That's just an awesome little little rip right there. Um, everything seems to be in, in good working order on this car. Let's see if it tracks straight. Absolutely no hands on the wheel there. So seems to be set up right. Feels good. Motor's dialed in. Really fun car. Got the bench seat up here if you want to get close to your sweetheart. Does have seat belts all the way around if you uh, want to take the kids along with you. But yeah, you can have lots of fun in this one, absolutely. That motor is stout. If you want to uh, test drive the car yourself, you are more than welcome to do so. Contact either Joey or Eric and they can line up uh, test drive for you. We're about an hour drive outside of Chicago and about a 30 minute drive outside of O'Hare International Airport if you need to fly in to check it out. I would highly recommend it. It's a heck of a lot of fun and hey, maybe you can even make a weekend of it and stay in the city or something like that. So you can check out all the details and pictures on volocars.com. So the car was flipped on a rotisserie. The underside is all detailed, it's beautiful. Completely dry, rust-free metal with the red oxide primer, with a little bit of the blue overspray. That's the way factory would have done it. 
All of the components were restored, rebuilt, detailed, all the suspension, the steering, uh, completely redone. This has the competition suspension, staggered shocks in the back because it's the four speed. Uh, the fuel tank, the fuel lines, all that was replaced. Brake system completely redone, disc in front. Um, it does have a custom exhaust. So, so whoever uh, restored the car, I'm sure, didn't have that exhaust on it. It was probably somebody later wanted to jazz up the exhaust system. So that's a bolt-on item, but that's the only thing custom on the car. <laughs> you look up at the motor, it's spotless. $695 for a concourse restored uh, starter. It has the VIN number matching, uh, close ratio, four speed, top loader. <coughs> and then, of course, in back again, a 391 uh, traction lock rear end. has the tag on it. It's correct for this car. Concourse restored, numbers match, extremely rare, beautiful, top dog muscle car. Go to volocars.com. Salesman can help answer your questions. Thanks for watching.